Konnichiwa, minasan. Z here from Magic Dream Creations. Can't speak right now. I'm very tired. Uh, it is March 21st, 2016. It's Slytherin Pride Day. Not official, but hey, I saw it. So I got my hoodie on, or my beanie, I should say, and my little wristband here. Uh, so yeah, I'm completely exhausted. Uh, this past weekend was Permian Base and Comic Con X, and I did the artist alley there all three days, and I had a blast. Um, got to meet a lot of cool people. I was next to Cram Studios, Mike, who's from Australia. That was awesome. And the uh, other one next to me was Melissa. No, Melinda. Melinda. Haha. <laughs> See, got it. Melinda. Uh, she is an amazing artist, and her mom is an amazing artist, and uh, just from, you know, speaking to them, the whole family's, like, real talented from what I hear. They, they do writing and everything, but that was really cool, getting to talk with everybody, uh, getting to meet everyone that came by my booth. By the way, guys, thank you so much. Also, I just hit 200 likes on my Facebook, which, oh, is so awesome, and I like to thank everybody for that, because I would never have fathomed that. Um, but yeah, Permian Basin Comic Con was a huge, huge hit. Uh, I was there since VIP day on Friday, and the setup and everything was really super easy. Uh, my friend Rattles, if you all may know, <laughs> uh, he was the one that helped me with my booth. He got me a display where I could spin around all the artwork and everything, which is really nifty. And, um, yeah, he helped watch my booth and set up and tear down and all that fun jazz. So without him, I would have had so much help. <laughs> so I want to give a big thanks to Rattles for that one. Uh, came out with a lot of goodies. And uh, I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. I uh, got to meet a lot of people. And it just all around blew my mind. Um, I also took down some notes of some things that I can do to improve myself and I'm definitely going to be going headlong into all of this to keep going with my artwork to make my dream a reality and um, there was one girl who dressed up as Sans uh, Rayleigh I wanted to give this shout out to you girl you are amazing your voice acting your artwork you can go so far with it girl you just got to get into it you just don't let anybody drag you down for it I can tell you from experience there will be those people that'll tell you that you can't amount to anything don't listen to them because it, it'll just it's not worth it in the long run I'm telling you you can go far with what you can do and no matter what you don't give up on your dreams and just so you know you got a fan in me so I'll be rooting for you every step of the way uh, she was so awesome. We got to talk for a very long time, and I'm super proud of her because it's amazing. I see her, a lot of me in her, because I was very shy, very timid, and wasn't quite sure of myself, like how she is right now. But I know, girl, you've got this. You're golden. So with that, guys, I want to start showing off all my goodies. Uh, I got a few presents for myself and I was given a few presents and the first one I want to show you guys is something that Retch, my friend Retch from Retch Plays got me. I thought that was so cute when he handed it to me. <laughs> Come to the dark side. They had cookies! Oh, absolutely love this shirt. I was so excited when he handed it to me because I love cute things. Can't help it. Um, all the artists that I bought things from I will link all their uh, information down below so you can please go check them out please because <laughs> they are super awesome and a lot of them were really really nice to me let's see here we got haha <laughs> there we go miss cat give me these awesome earrings I love Kat. She is awesome. She makes really, really cool stuff, and uh, I love it whenever I get to see her at cons, because she's just amazing. I'll put a link of her stuff down below, too. And then Lance, a good friend of mine, gave me this. More Slytherin! Because I, I, I am a Slytherin. I thought it was a really cool chain mail with bottle cap. 
just a little flattened out bottle cap and it came with a keychain which I don't know if I want to put it on my keys because I have a lot of stuff on my keychain or I'm just gonna hang it up right over here good possibility it's just gonna hang up Let's see I also got myself a pirate patch which is really cool because if you can kind of see it got a little gold Cthulhu there which is gonna go I dressed up as my pirate persona kind of thing on Friday um, so this is definitely going to come in handy with that one because then I can just put it on and wear it with my garb. I say garb is in costume, cosplay. Uh, it's a term that we use in Amp Guard, which if you guys were there and you saw the buffer pit, that's what I do on the weekends too. So <laughs> I just, um, it's been a lot, it's a lot of fun to play Amp Guards out. I mean, we get to dress up and all kinds of things. So this is definitely going to be added to my court garb. And then I also found this little gem, which was amazing. Because I've been looking for one to add to my collection. A toothless Funko Pop. He is adorable. I adores it. I also got Rattles one. It wasn't toothless, but I got him a claptrap. As a kind of thank you for helping me out with my booth and everything. And something keeps like, connecting and disconnecting, and I don't know what it is. Anyway. Uh, also, um, a friend of mine named Miguel, uh, he watches my YouTube videos, uh, and from my top ten, we definitely, big connection there because of the Slayers, and he's been getting rid of some of the stuff and told me that, you know, he wanted to give this to me because he knew it was going to go to a good home, which it is, but he got me, he gave me these, which is like super amazing because I have only seen these online I've never actually got to hold one and definitely these are going to be going in with all the rest of the comics that I have because this is amazing I love Slayers it is one of those series that I will always love and thank you again Miguel for this because uh, I still want to cry because it's awesome <laughs> that was one of those oh I wanted to cry all right and then this little gem who was beside down on the corner in the same alley that we were in uh, he is Cole Johnson from Unlimited Beadworks there we go and I'll put a link down in the description below I'm a big Zelda avid fan so I kept staring at these and staring at these and could not help it I had to get them all and they're magnets, which is awesome. Also bought uh, blue rupee for rattles from the same from the same uh, beadwork guy, and I also bought let's see blue rupee for rattles, a purple from my mom. It was on a keychain, and a poison mushroom from my dad because I thought that was a funny haha. And then artwork wise, I did. I gave away a lot of my artwork because I love doing that. I love seeing people happy. Um, I know I got to see a lot of people walking by. They, there was a lot of big, big compliments and everything from my stitch pull. Because apparently everyone liked that one. <laughs> made some people that I didn't think would smile really smile at seeing them. So that made me happy. That's what I live for with all my artwork is make, seeing people happy and seeing them excited about, you know, looking at the artwork that touches their fandoms and everything. So, but I do do lots of trading at times. I'll just give away my artwork to people that I'm like, I really want you to have this. Um, and so I gave Soma from Dark Elf Studios and Dark Elf Cosplay, and she's a really good friend of mine. I gave her Harley Quinn, and in return, she gave me a Judy Han. I love her. And with determination, eventually, maybe if I get, you know, slimmed down and toned up, I can cosplay her because I really want to. And it's, oh, I'm not confident enough in my body to be able to cosplay her right now. So <laughs> this is one that I'm going to work towards. But I really love this one. And she's going to join my collection of artwork. So definitely go check out Soma. She does really cute and awesome things. And she's a really, really good cosplayer. I absolutely love her Sailor Mercury because it's spot on. All right, these next ones, 
I got from I have a list down here because I made sure to write down everybody and I'm going to put again I'm gonna put everybody down uh, in the descriptions below for you guys to go check them out and give them some much needed love well because you know supporting other artists local and on because we did have some that were not even from the US which was awesome I, I really loved enjoying these guys and this this is the one that I got it from um, Sean Paulette he was there and I bought like three things from his booth and he is my on my naughty list Sean because he gave me Tim Tams and got me addicted and I had to find a shop online where I could get them imported here so that's why I can continue to have Tim Tams so thank you Sean for that <laughs> but he had an awesome epic Psylocke and I just could not resist so wanted to do that I have to have this on my wall because I love Psylocke she's like one of my favorites set her over here and hopefully haha <laughs> oh, my leg are working and he does uh, comics to movies dot com dot au so it's really cool and these ones that I got from his booth same booth are from are by uh, Mark Lothier and I'm sorry if I slaughtered that name and they're limited edition prints so which I thought was really cool but isn't that awesome uh, I saw that kept staring at it and staring at it and I was kind of catty corner from his booth so I was like oh my god seeing all the pretty shinies and from the same artist I got another little something so y'all guys can pretty much guess who I'm rooting for in the next movie coming out here I absolutely love Batman and the fact that this had the Joker on it too was just epic cinched the deal completely so definitely you guys check out uh, comics to movies because they got some really good artists and Sean is made of awesome sauce because he's really sweet and I loved hanging out with all of them we did do the after party uh, and it was really cool because um, uh, Walter was there at the very end of it he was went out dancing came back and thought rattles was like a official monster I was like Zordon come in I need backup it was funny it was awesome and it just made my night being able to hear that uh, this one I got from David Roman actually I got two here from David Roman couldn't help but get these Roman Studios I got a rocket I thought that rocket was epic that background is gorgeous so you guys can definitely like tell that you know I was just staring at all the different artwork going oh that would be so cool and you know kind of seeing what was trending and what's not and I'm gonna try to keep up with everything that's trending you know and do things that I'm really super excited about because there were some things that I was like oh I wish I could have done that one and you know getting ready to do them and everything but I was re really excited too because I had gotten my t-shirts made and in time for the con so that was so exciting because I was like my t-shirt you know artwork on a t-shirt that your artwork is something amazing it's an amazing feeling at least for me I don't know about you guys but it made me happy um, this one is another one that I got from Roman and I could not help it because it's Firefly it is the serenity if I ever go to a con where they are there I can get them to sign it which is even more epic and may totally happen if that does happen so she is definitely going to be hung up and put somewhere shiny. All right. And this one here, as I was setting up, I couldn't help but keep staring. Uh, she was on my left, and I just looked at every piece of her artwork. This is Melinda uh, Cavazos. And this, this right here is just made of awesome, sexy Sashomaru-ness. 
Sashomaru is my absolute favorite from Inuyasha, and I just kept staring and staring at the Sashomaru. It was mesmerizing to me. I just could not help it. She does amazing, amazing artwork. Y'all guys should go check her out. And, and, I mean, it was awesome. Their whole layout and everything was amazing. And then this, my last two pieces that I got, is from Mike uh, from Cram Studios. He was on the right of me, and it was just, his artwork is amazing. And I'll put a link to his Instagram and his Facebook below. And he, too, is from Australia. Check out that awesome Raphael. That is just, I love it. Raph is my favorite from the Turtles. Has been since I was little. <laughs> and so when I saw that one, I was like, I have to have Raph. Raph is, Raph is my number one. And then we got here. Got my another number one, and this was actually silly to admit, but he was my uh, first anime crush. And ta-da, Piccolo. This is uh, Mike did this as well as well, and he did an amazing, amazing job. And it was so hard. I'm a, I can mimic voices and everything. It was so hard to, while talking to them, not pick up on the Australian accent. And I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because <laughs> it's just something I pick up on my friends is uh, the way that they talk or, or some of their uh, actions and everything. And it just, it's something that I don't think about. And um, accents. I love accents. And I end up picking up on accents if I'm not paying attention. And whenever I get tired, though, my uh, Texas draw comes out. So, but those are all the artworks that I got um, and all the goodies and yeah like I said it was a blast uh, I don't know I, I mean all the the guests that were there Kel Mitchell was there uh, and I was just starstruck by a lot of it I only got to walk around at least a couple times and see some of them from afar because I took a break and walked away from my booth um, but, and Lauren Linda, who does Sailor Neptune, and Annie from Attack on Titan, she had stopped by on the aisle that we were at, and I had to run after her after she had left, because I wanted to give her a Harley Quinn, and when I did, it just, it seemed to make her day, which made my day, and I was just so excited. So, I was definitely a lot of starstruck, um, and it was really awesome, and I learned a lot, too, but definitely, um, hoping to at least get to go to Koyakon, just go see it again. Koya is the, you know, the anime convention here locally, and I'm going to try to see about going to Hub City. Uh, possibly might get an art booth there. Not sure yet, depending on funds and everything. So, definitely loved it. Can't wait for next year. Uh, made lots of friends. Got to see some old friends and make new ones, and it's just been epic. So, definitely thank you guys again, and definitely check out all the artists and everybody that I'll link down below, please, because they're uber awesome and made of awesome sauce, all of them. Um, but yeah, definitely loved it. That's about all I can say. <laughs> but hopefully I'll get some more speed paint videos in. Now that the con craze is gone, more, more Let's Plays are coming. And yeah, thank you guys again for the 200 likes on Facebook. Y'all are making this, this little humble artist so excited and so happy that you guys are happy and you guys are enjoying all the stuff that I'm doing so thank you again from the bottom of my heart and then I will see y'all guys later. Ciao matane!